Are there animals that are like real life Pokemon? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and Pokemon trainer, often combine my two passions into one. Today, we're gonna explore three reasons why Yamper is cooler than you might think, using the animal biology of our world to discuss Pokemon biology. So you ready? Join the Safari and let's get started. Yamper, the puppy Pokemon, is from the Galar region, which has many subtle and not so subtle nods to the United Kingdom. The first thing that stands out about Yamper, other than the fact that it's super adorable, is that when they run, there's an organ at the base of their tail that generates electricity. And while Yamper cannot store the electricity that it generates, it does add a nice sparkle to one's life because, well, that's literally what happens apparently. Sparks generate because they cannot store it. And because of all this energy being expressed as sparkles, it appears it attracts the interest of Joltik, which can be seen on Yamper's hindquarters feeding off this electricity. This organ reminds me of the organs of a real life Pokemon of our world, electric eels. Did you know that adult electric eels use these electric organs to discharge a whopping 500 volts to stun prey. Most of their rather long body is comprised of three different electric organs. You have the two big ones, the hunter's organ and the aptly named main organ, but then there's also sac's organ. Each organ has hundreds of modified muscle cells called electrocytes. Now, while the voltage produced by each of these cells is relatively small, because they are stacked, which builds voltage, and run parallel, which builds current, if you think of the eel as being a battery, with the head being the positive pole and the tail being the negative pole, thus when they discharge all electrocytes simultaneously, it's like a real life Z-move. Now, the second reason why Yamper is cooler than you might think is because it is based off a of corgi, and not just any, Corgi. Oh no, I think it's based off a Pembroke Welsh Corgi rather than the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And it's not just their roots that make them different, but the Pembroke Welsh Corgi has a shorter body and pointed ears. That's more similar to Yamper. And just like how Yamper is popular for hurting one of my favorite Pokemon, Wooloo, so too is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi known for being expert herders. Of not just sheep, the real life Wooloo, but various other animals as well. And y'all know how I love a bit of history. I was surprised to find out that the Pembroke Welsh Corgi dates back to the 10th century. It's unknown if they descended from the Swedish Valhuns brought to Pembrokeshire by the Vikings or Pomeranians that were brought to Wales by Flemish weavers. Either way, it's pretty cool that they have that much of a history. In fact, Welsh legend states that fairies and elves of Wales used these corgis to pull their coaches and even act as noble steeds for the fairy warriors. Rumor has it, you can still see the saddle marks on some of the Pembroke Welsh corgis today. But the main reason why Yamper is cooler than you might think, and most definitely makes it relatable, especially to both myself and Maui, is that they only work because they want treats. Fair play, Yamper. Fair play. Well, with that in mind, if you like Yamper, give this video a thumbs up. And to keep your Pokemon Safari going, why not check out my playlist right here on the wealth of other Pokemon animal comparison videos that I've done over the last two years and counting. So go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.